All right, so the walls of this cave are limestone. When uh, hydrochloric acid is dropped on limestone, a chemical reaction occurs that produces a gas. Uh, geologists use this reaction to determine whether the rock sample contains the mineral, mineral uh, calcium carbonate. And there's the molecular formula there. So it says, what types, what are the general types of chemical reactions? So that's what we talked about today in your reading. Some general types of chemical reactions are synthesis reactions, de decomposition reactions, single replacement, double replacement, and combustion reactions. So just as you classify matter into different types, you can classify chemical reactions into different types. Reactions are often classified by the type of reactant and the number of reactants and the products. So synthesis, uh, a synthesis um, reaction is a reaction in which two or more substances react to form a single um, substance. In other words, you're going to take a couple things and add them together and make one thing. Uh, Water is a great example of that. H2O, you take hydrogen and oxygen, put them together, and you make one thing, which is water. But the, uh, the reactants may be either elements or compounds. The product synthesized is always one single compound. And the general equation for this is A plus B equals AB. Okay? In other words, uh, for hydrogen and oxygen, you would say hydrogen plus oxygen gives you H2O. Okay, so sodium metal reacts vigorously with chlorine to form sodium chloride. That's how salt's formed. You take two sodium uh, uh, atoms and combine them with two chlorine atoms, and you get two molecules of sodium chloride. Another synthesis reaction is hydrogen and oxygen reacting to form water. So you take two diatomic hydrogen, that's two atoms that stay connected, plus one diatomic um, molecule of oxygen, put it together, and you get two molecules of water. Decomposition is a reaction in which the compound breaks down into two or more simpler substances. So the reactant in the decomposition reaction must be a compound. Um, the products may be elements or compounds, the general equation for decomposition is AB equals A plus B. So this is like the reverse process of synthesis, okay? Um, when electricity passes through water, water decomposes into hydrogen and oxygen. So this is the same equation that we had before, but backwards. Now if I hit water with a little bit of electricity, it breaks down back into the hydrogen and oxygen. That's decomposition. Cement factories use a giant kennel or oven to heat a mixture of clay and limestone. The heat causes the calcium carbonate in the limestone to decompose into lime. Um, and so here's the chemical reaction. You have this, and when you add a little heat, it breaks down into this. Single replacement. A single replacement reaction is a reaction in which one element takes the place of another. Single replacement reactions have this general form. A plus BC equals B plus AC. So basically, A took the place of B. Um, copper replaces silver in silver nitrate solution in a single replacement reaction. The solution turns blue and the silver crystals uh, form on the wire. So they put, um, well, maybe we'll do this as a lab. But basically what's going on here, if you look at the formula, copper replaces the silver. AG is the silver. So copper and the silver kind of swap places. That makes sense? Um, potassium reacts with water in a single replacement reaction that produces hydrogen gas and pot potassium hydroxide. So same thing here. Um, we have this composition and uh, well, actually, this one, this one really does a bunch of stuff, but the potassium replaces uh, the hydrogen. So you have water here, and then the potassium replaces the hydrogen. So now you have hydrogen gas and then pot potassium hydroxide. So, um, oops. So the heat produced by this chemical reaction causes the gas to ignite explosively. 
Um, a double replacement reaction is one in which two different compounds exchange positive ions to form two new compounds. So this one, the formula is AB plus CD equals AD plus CB. Um, two replacements that uh, take place in this reaction, A replaces C and C replaces A. So there, it's like you're swapping them out, right? Or it, well, there's two replacements is the best way to do it. So here's an example. When potassium iodide solution is poured into a solution of lead nitrate, a double, replace, a double replacement reaction takes place. Lead iodide forms as a yellow uh, precipitate and potassium nitrate remains in the solution. Um, when geologists test uh, calcium carbonate can, content in a rock, they use a double replacement reaction. The product is carbonic uh, acid and that decomposes into um, carbon dioxide gas and water. Combustion. Well, this is fire. Um, combustion is one in which a substance um, reacts rapidly with oxygen, often producing heat and light. The main component of natural gas is methane. When methane burns in oxygen, the combustion reaction occurs. So um, oxygen, basically combustion, anytime something's on fire, there's a chemical reaction that's taking place with the oxygen. A Bunsen burner generates heat and light, and uh, we're burning natural gas. So if I took my burner out of the cabinet and hooked it up to the gas thing, turned the gas on and burned it, um, I'm going to use mostly that methane gas or the natural gas that we have piped into the school, um, and then it'll, it'll have a combustion reaction with oxygen in the air. Um, and that's why when you go to, they say if you want to put out a fire, sometimes you can smother it. Basically, what you're doing is you're preventing the oxygen from interacting with the actual flame. If there's no oxygen, most of the time there's no fire. So the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen um, is a combustion reaction. It, you could also classify this reaction as a synthesis of water, depending on how you look at it. In other words, if I take hydrogen and burn it with oxygen, it will form water. That's why hydro, hydrogen cars are kind of cool. So how did the discovery of subatomic particles affect the classification of reactions? Well, the discovery of subatomic particles, particles enable scientists to classify certain chemical reactions as transfers of electrons between atoms. So there's a reason all this stuff takes place. And it has to do with the subatomic particles, the structures of the atoms, and so on and so forth. A reaction in which electron is transferred from one reactant to another is called oxidation reduction reaction or redox. So oxidation, for a long time people have no metals to react with oxygen. Um, calcium reacts with oxygen and forms calcium oxide. Iron reacts with oxygen and forms rust or iron oxide. Um, these types of synthesis reactions in which the metals combine with oxygen have been classified as oxidations. Now, the, uh, I'm going to say this and it'll come up in the slide. Oxidation is a process, but oxygen is not always needed, which is weird if you think about it. So we'll just go through a bunch of these. So calcium oxide or lime is produced when calcium burns in the presence of oxygen. Um, in this reaction, the calcium is oxidized and the oxygen is reduced. Each neutral calcium atom loses two electrons and becomes a calcium ion. So when it loses two electrons, it has a plus two charge because the electrons are negative. Any process in which the element loses electrons during a chemical reaction is called oxidation. Now, it's called oxidation because it usually happens in, you know, these reactions with oxygen. Um, but basically, you're losing electrons. Now, oxygen doesn't have to be present in order for an element to lose electrons. I'm going to say that again because it's important. Oxidation is the label that we give 
in a reaction where an element loses electrons, okay? It most often happens with oxygen, but it can happen with other elements too. So oxygen does not have to be present in order for an element to lose electrons. Reduction. Well, if something's given off some electrons, they gotta go somewhere. So the process in which an element gains electrons in a chemical reaction is called reduction. As calcium atoms lose their electrons during the synthesis of calcium oxide, the oxygen atoms contain elect or gain electrons. As each neutral, meaning it's perfectly balanced, same number of protons, same number of electrons, as each neutral oxygen atom gains two electrons, it becomes an ion with a negative two charge, okay? So oxidation and reduction, or redox, as you'll hear Mr. Adams call it from time to time, always occurs if there's going to be some sort of synthesis where there's a new compound form. So when one element loses electron, another element gains electrons. The reactant is the one to be reduced if it gains electrons. The reactant is oxidized if it loses electrons. So the one gaining it is reduced. The one losing them is oxidized. Oxidation reduction reaction does not always involve complete transfers of electrons. For example, in the synthesis of water, hydrogen is oxidized and oxygen is reduced, but the transfer of electrons is only partial. Okay. Um, which, of the which of these statements best describes a double replacement reaction? Um, it's A. Two different compounds exchange positive ions to form new compounds. Which of the following statements is true about oxidation reduction reactions? Um, C. Oxidation and reduction always occur together if there's some sort of reaction. If you give up two electrons, somebody has to get two electrons. And that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. So give me one second.